Beekeepers around the world really do struggle nowadays to keep our beautiful pollinators in good, healthy, strong, prolific condition. And we have a raft of uh, pests and disease that we try and keep to a minimum. We have European and American fowl brood. We have sack brood. We have chalk brood. As well as that, we have actual pests that do a lot of damage. We have small high beetle. We have... Um, Asian hornet and Japanese hornet, we have uh, varroa mites. Now varroa mites are a mite that came in about 30 years ago that they live on the bees and they actually inject viruses into our honeybees when they bite the bees. However, now that is virtually nothing in compared to what we think is coming. There's a new pest, which is another mite, which is half the size of a varroa mite. It's one millimeter by 0.5 of a millimeter. It runs around on the frames a lot quicker. It can reproduce a heck of a lot faster and more numbers of young mites when it reproduces. And basically it mauls the larvae when it's during the reproduction phase. So you have dead or deformed bees when they should be hatching. And also it gives the bees more viruses, much more deadlier viruses than our current varroa mites give the bees. So where is this all going? Well, I can tell you, we don't know. And Maggie Gill from Pira Science doesn't know either, but you can log into my live chat, which is Thursday this week, and it'll be on nine o'clock French time. That's eight o'clock UK time. And I think that's three o'clock in the afternoon, six hours behind Eastern time. We're going to be talking all about the effect of the new tropelelaps mite that is on its way. And it will definitely be a nightmare for us here. And it will probably, if not certainly, end up in America and the rest of the world. Every other pest and disease that is linked to beekeeping seems to manage to get its way in in time and it's all a bit of a nightmare so i really feel passionate about spreading the words of when someone tries to do good and help us be aware of this new pest it's not going to be next year it might not be the uh, the year after but i reckon in two to three years we will probably see it in this apiary who knows if you think that's absolutely cuckoo have a look speak with your mind and be informed. Have a look at what's coming up. We'll give you a full, honest presentation of what they found. I just want to share this and make sure that even if we're wrong, that's great, but it's much better to be wrong than be uninformed and get it wrong because we will not be able to carry on beekeeping in the way that we want to if this pest arrived. It's, it's so bad, it will change the way we do things. We will not be able to have strong colonies and it's likely that probably 90% of our stock will be dead. So therefore beekeeping for us is non-viable. So to be the bringer of bad news, but it's better to be educated than ignorant and then we will hopefully slow it down as much as we can. The main thing is going to be is stopping imports around the world. We're going to have to get used to raising our own colonies, which is what I do here. However, I do buy some bees in sometimes. That's going to have to stop. We cannot afford the risk. But the problem is we're already in Europe and it will naturally spread throughout Europe, almost certainly, because it's so invasive. Tropilalaps has already caused major nightmares to beekeepers in Georgia and Maggie Gill will be able to enlighten us on what they found, how the beekeepers coped with what they had at the start of the season and what they have now. And that's what I find most frightening. They had double Dayton hives, fully strong. Within three months, the hives are virtually dead. Now that is just a non-starter for us. We cannot let this happen. So all you beekeepers out there, take note and badger your local inspectors, badger your local government, because we have to put things into place right now if you want to stop this. I wish we didn't have this problem. All I want to do is work hard and raise good quality bees with the stock that I've got and occasionally bring in some good genetics that help keep my diversity in my mating and everything else really good. And I'm sure it's the same for everybody out there who's watching this. All we wanna do is just work hard and earn a salary, but it looks like that's about to come to an end. And if we don't do something about it and slow the spread, it will be sooner rather than later. So don't forget this Thursday, 8 p.m. UK time, 9 p.m. French time. 
please join us to just at least discuss it and give it your point of view. And you can say what you think, but when you speak to someone who's been there and seen it, that speaks a thousand words for someone who's got the experience of what it's actually like. It is just going to be a nightmare if and when it comes here. So take care. Speak to you soon.